What's up, 49ers faithful? Johnny Dell back again with another episode of 49ers Playbook, where we're going to take a look back at the previous week's game and see exactly how things turn out the way they did. I want to talk about the George Kittle touchdown play because Joe Staley was reported saying that Kyle Shanahan called the touchdown on the sideline before the play even happened. So we're going to take a look at what Kyle Shanahan saw on the, on the field and what he had seen the previous week that led him to make such a bold prediction. This is going to be a lot of fun to look at, and there's a lot of good things to see. So if we actually jump back the previous week to look at the Browns versus the Ravens, we can see what Kyle Shanahan saw on film. What, what the Browns like to do is they do something that Vic Fangio has done for a long time, and they'll come out and they'll give this quarters look pre-snap. The idea here is that they're going to make the quarterback read post-snap, give him no pre-snap indication of what they're going to do. So... They're going to stay in this quarter's look, but they can go into a, a number of different defenses here. They can rotate a safety down into a cover three. They can rotate into uh, keep a corner down and go into a cover six. They can stay in cover four. They can bring both corners down, go into a cover two. So there's a lot of things they can do out of this defense. And so it, it causes the quarterback to hold the ball just a little bit longer or you know, not give him as easy of a read. So if we jump to the play here, we can actually watch what happens. So here, Baltimore brings a tight end in motion, and what you're going to see is the safety starts to creep down. And watch the watch after the snap. You're going to see the safety come down. Now I know there's a run. I don't think he comes down because he sees the run, because from the very snap he continues to come down. The other safety is going to rotate over the top. That's showing that they were going into a cover three. So you can see this safety coming over the top, this one coming down. And because of the, the alignment of the linebackers, this is what we call a buzz coverage, where you have a backer in the flat. So this all of this plays into that they're trying to hide what it is, but better quarterbacks and coaches, you know, as they prepare their players, are gonna be able to see these, see some of these little things, but it takes it takes a, a good mind to be able to see this as on the field in real time. So you see they're definitely in that cover three. Well, let's look at another, the very next play from the same drive from this week. And we can see, again, just a repeat of, of what Cleveland is doing. So here, once again, they're going to show all of their defensive backs in an off coverage. This corner isn't quite as, as shallow as everybody else, but they're still giving the same look. Now, with the alignment of the linebackers, I don't believe they're going to be in a cover six here. This is this is what we would look like as a cover six. But as we watch this film, I'll, I'll point some things out. So here they bring a tight end across. And this safety doesn't widen at all now that he's got a bunch look. And here at the snap, you're going to see this corner. He takes steps back. To me, that says that he was bailing into a deep third. Um... And so this safety was going to rotate down, and they are probably going to go into cover three. It could be that they were in cover six. You know, uh, it's hard to tell on a run play this quickly. But the purpose is you're seeing this two plays in a row that when Cleveland is in the red zone, and really they kind of did this most way over the field, but when they're in the red zone, they like to play a form of three deep, meaning they, they like to keep one defender down close to the line of scrimmage, whether it be a corner or a safety, you know, and cover six is a form of a three deep defense. It's going to, you're going to have three deep defenders. It's just different in their alignment and how they play for a cover six. So now that we've seen this, this is what Shanahan saw on film when you start to get into the red zone versus Cleveland. So let's jump to see uh, the Kittle touchdown. So for ours, again, they're going to come out and they're going to show pre-snap free motion. They're going to have these three deep with the corner in an off coverage because we have two tight ends and a running back similar to the bunch set that the Ravens showed. So again, they're presenting the same look and they can go into a number of defenses from this. The trick will be trying to re cause the Browns to reveal pre-snap what they're going to do. So what Kyle does is he brings use check across the formation. And right when this happens, you're going to see this safety is going to go with George Kittle and widen. That's going to reveal that, that those safeties are staying high. 
when remember what we saw when the when the Ravens put a tight end in motion, the safety didn't widen, he came down into the box. Well, because that doesn't happen and the safety widens, it's going to reveal what coverage Cleveland's going to be running, and they're going to be running what's called a cover six. And the cover six is it's two, two plus four, sorry. So you have quarters or cover four on one side of the field, and you have cover two on the other. So the safety is going to stay in what we call cloud coverage, a cloud in the flat. You'll have a hook curl here. You'll have a middle defender, and then you'll have a hook curl here from this linebacker. So this is how this defense looks, that it's a form of three deep, but you don't have a true center safety. You're going to have quarters on the one side and cover two on the other. For us, we're going to run three different passing concepts here. We're going to run first on this side. We're going to send this is Pettis. We're going to send him on a vertical. Then we're going to take Kyle Juszczyk, and he's just going to run a quick out, a speed out. So this creates an Ohio concept here. Then we're going to take George Kittle, and we're going to run him on a kind of skinny post. So this plus the vertical creates what's called the divide concept. It's meant to be a cover two or cover six. It's to divide this safety um, so that he can't jump either way. On this side, we're going to run a curl flat concept. We're going to take Ross Dwelly, run him over here, and then we're going to take uh, Kevin Coleman and run him out into the flat. So we have curl flat to beat to defeat cover three, we have an Ohio to beat cover two or cover four, and we have the divide as the home run versus cover two or cover four. So Kyle Shanahan called a play here that can beat any of the defenses that Cleveland like to come out in. It's just going to be up to the quarterback and this pre-snap motion to reveal the coverage to know where to go. So if we jump to the film... We're going to see the defense shifts over, and now what that means is that Kittle's going to run up the seam, and he's going to be one-on-one -on -one with his linebacker and be able to split the safeties. This was a pl this was where I'm pretty sure Kyle Shanahan, once he saw these safeties shift like this, and he saw this safety widen, he knew they were going to be in cover six, and that's when he, he just called the touchdown because he knew that this play was going to, going to hit a home run because... This defender being cover six is not going to be playing like a Tampa two and run down the field. Even if he is, I don't think he can cover George Kittle. But you see on this side, they're in cover six. You have the corner squatting. You have this safety really wide in a cover two. Then you have quarters on this side where they're more splitting the field in quarters here. And so that means Kittle's going to have the inside between the safeties. And all Jimmy Garoppolo's got to do is put that ball over the middle defender, and right into George Kittle. And we get a touchdown. Yay! So this is is what Kyle Shanahan saw and how he used pre-snap motion to reveal the Cleveland Browns coverage going back to the previous week to see what they like to run and how he can exploit it and help his quarterback out and the whole team see what was going on and, and reveal what they're doing. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in, as always. Uh, if you'd like to support me in any way, I sure appreciate it. All the money goes right back into the channel. And um, sorry if I sound a little congested today. We are having some weather things here in Alabama. So we're getting nice sinus things going on all over the place. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And go Niners!